We control the horizontal and the vertical. Welcome to the outer limits of blood. Okay. I'm back. How was your day? Mine was cool. When is the weather going to be cool? Never. It's just going to suck forever. Yeah. Life sucks for everybody. Here's a game about sucking even harder. All right. Whew. Sorry, the saving is kind of a as a B because the quick save I have to keep setting before the level starts. Welcome to the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah, because it's in DOS box, it's loading everything way too fast. You know what? Fine. I like the level transitions. I did start. I am starting the next level. You can see part of the previous level in here. We at the train station. Oh, I think we might be getting a new weapon today. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, if I blow up the TNT, perhaps it'll blow up the crack in the back of the train. Yeah, I imagine it would. Let's blow it up some more! Ba-booms! This is a good explosion game. Like, the explosion... The explosion effects are pretty uh, unique for this compared to other build Engine games. You can really feel them. I can really feel it! There we go. Alright, I got a sawed-off shotgun. It's a shotgun. I will be using it a lot. Enjoy. And the secondary function makes me use two bullets instead of one. Which is pretty much what I'll need to do to get rid of an average enemy in one shot. So, that's that's what's going to be used a lot. Get used to that. Shotguns will save your day. I mean, specifically sawed-off, but come on, it's a shotgun. You know this. You know this! Blood up, screw up! I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> I do not trust the hooded robe bin. I shall take the shotgun ammunition. Oh, yes. I did have a chance for the, the cultist to drop a shotgun in the last level. It didn't happen. I know when I tested a few times they did, so... Just speaking from experience. I'm trying to think of what else the other enemies drop. I guess we'll get back to you on that. Uh, if you want some brains, you can just go to Zombie U. You know, it's like a university, but a Nintendo game. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. I prefer the uh, the mini music to the CD music, because there's actually more mini tracks than there are CD tracks. But, feel free to input your own sound font instead of just doing the FN synthesis, like I keep doing. Or better yet, play Fresh Supply, because that'll probably be easy for you to run. Which is another reason I've done the third difficulty, which is if you do the first and last difficulties, for instance, and you keep quick saving and quick loading, um, it mess it fudges with how the damage numbers work. Luckily, doing this difficulty, or even the well done difficulty, that doesn't really happen. So, that's another reason I'm doing this difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine the. F Imagine uh, still pink on the inside being too hard and extra crispy being too easy, because that's essentially what's happening. It has a uh, mess with people's perception of how difficult games are. I don't think people understand my relationship with a game's difficulty is not to be unfair, but to be as uh, fulfilling as possible. So I could do some hard shit, I could do some not so hard shit. I specifically try not to do anything masochistic, even though this game would suggest as much. See, I didn't account for it. I have to actually load the quick save manually first before the, the, the quick load works the way it's supposed to. But, there you go. Music's not really too much of a big thing in this game. It's mostly ambiance. But I guess the first level needed music, for sure. And there's some, like, track going on. So, yeah, I'm not worried about it too much. Gotta turn the train over. You can shoot the bats, but I don't think they've been messing with me. They're safe for now. Everything's got blood in this game. Speaking of blood, how is your experience looking at the Super Flower Blood Moon? I didn't get a chance to see it. I just thought that was cool that such a thing exists. It probably will not ever exist again in my lifetime. There's just an overarching theme of blood I've noticed talking to you person who plays the character involving blood. <laughs> you know who you are! I know you. But, um... What else? What else about blood? It'd be funny if... 
I, I actually like going to the phlebotomist, like, a lot. He single-handedly made me not afraid of needles, which is amazing. Except now I'm afraid of what a neurologist does when they want to check your muscles, which is to put a needle in there and then electrocute you. So, I am terrified of being shocked now. That's great. Maybe I should play a game called Shock and make myself feel better. Or just use Shock and, um... As if it's a future derogatory term, like in Spider-Man 2099. Hey, wait a minute! Screaming after you're already dead! This is Mortal Kombat logic. Yeah, I know. Speaking of a game that's like Mortal Kombat, I was just thinking about Rise of the Tree, Ed. Too bad that's a very mazy-ass game. I'd like to be able to do it someday. Alright, step right up! Oh, wait, no, that's not this level. Going from station nowhere to somewhere, in the middle of nowhere, now she encouraged the cowardly dog. Hope we get to fuck him up some, as long as you like to terrorize young canines. And you do. You do, don't you? Well, that's on you, not me. The enemies are preoccupied with killing the innocents, but sometimes they'll realize I'm there and recognize he's the bigger threat, obviously. Yes. Yes, you must follow the prophecy. The prophecy! Oh, hey! It's the other kind of cultist. Who drops the weapon number four from Lucky. Which is the Tommy gun. The Thompson. Which is your chain gun equivalent. I imagine you'll want to use it. The moment you get it, your hand's on it. Which you should. Throw some dynamite in there! Ha-ha! Take it, please. Ticket to ride! Yep. That's a game. Say. So often, when I have lots of dynamite, I will just try to see if I can get away with looking to a room and be like, not going in there, throwing a dynamite, and then checking again later. You've got to be careful about what you're doing! Boy, there's a lot of love put into this game. I don't... I don't know the whole story of why it was passed off from 3D Realms to Monolith, by the way. But Monolith's a really good company. So, I'd like to see more monolith properties. I don't know what they've been doing lately. I should find out, though. I do know there's a few other games of monolith I'd actually like to try for reals on this channel. Maybe one of them will come up closer than you think. Oh, money mocks and free bucks! Ole ole oxen free! Chase me around! Motherfucking fuck! Boy! Gotta stream my consciousness like the stream of blood. Let's answer that phone. Hello, may I speak to Mr. Dust? First name is you. Okay, thanks. Uh, I don't think Caleb has a weight problem. He's not really worried about that. He's more worried about the content of his blood. Maybe you should ask him about his A1C levels. Tell him the diabetes is so in right now. Everybody got the diabetes. Let's go to the pub and grill. I like a good pub. I'm not really a pub guy, but I like I like the term a pub crawling. So we'll go with, we'll go with this. Think of all the things you can interact with. Think of all the food you could not need to eat since I somehow resurrected myself. I don't know. I don't know half this game's problems. The unrealism of food is not one of them. Oh, oh, well, since he survived that, I guess we're going to have to explode him into a million giblets. There's like a jukebox here, but when you use it, it just plays the scream at the level. So I'm going to keep it on, because with, you know, a game like this and it's 3D audio, it helps me keep track of where I am. So just, just advice to people, always try to use unique audio landmarks so I can figure out where I am. Not that getting lost is a problem. This game is very, uh... It's got enough decorations, you won't immediately get lost. Unless you got a straight-up maze, in which case, you might see me using the map. But it's hardly an issue. I think that's a calendar with Elvira on it, actually. They don't mention that in the wiki. Uh, there's a lot of references they don't mention in the wiki, so you'll just have to spot some for yourself. More barrels of... Explosive. Maybe it's made of fucking whiskey rum or whatever they use in Molotovs. You know, vodka. I haven't freaking knew. There's something else back here. 
But I'm gonna have to open the meat locker? Yeah, it's a meat locker. Delicious. Hey, it's the meat and the bone locker. Ah! Anyway, someone's been pushing that with their bloody hands. That is the invisibility power-up. It actually works, by the way. You are actually invisible. This ain't no fucking partial invisibility. You are actually invisible. You know, until you give yourself away by shooting them. But, um... You know, it... These power-ups and blood just don't last long enough, so I have to, like, immediately run and hope they get some use. I don't know if my running's broken, or if I'm just constantly on auto-run, but it hasn't been an issue. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Have a life seed. That's good. I wish there was more of an audio notification for the secret, so it'd be like, ding, ding, but I'm gonna have to just rely on the top left to tell me. Not exactly my preferred font. In fact, yeah, the font of the main intro isn't interesting either, but in order to get my actual screen that I'm using for the thumbnail, I had to load up Cryptic Passage, since there are no demos recorded for Cryptic Passage, so I was able to use that title screen. You also see it when I'm quick saving. But that's gonna be it. Blood with Plasma Pack. Plus, ostensibly Cryptic Passage, even though Episode 5 is supposed to be the deathmatch levels, never mind that. I mean, the bloodbath, you know, deathmatch, whatever. It's a technical thing. What's well, the best way to deal with a bunch of zombies in your room? Try setting them in the fire. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm so stupid, I'm trying to ax him. You guys know I have a gun, right? I suppose invisibility would have been really useful here. Hey, the Gikimbo guy. It's time to be Matrix Man. Two years before Matrix came out. How nice. Uh, yeah, two, two napalm cannons. Whoa. Remind me about that later. When you absolutely need everything dead, dual wield the rocket launcher. See what happens. Anyway, because this is a share episode, you're only getting weapons 2 to 5. I mean, 2 to 6. Dynamite's necessary. You'll see the other four in episode 2, I suspect. And they... They fill their own niches, as well. Like, I don't know by to what degree, but you might expect me to use them. I'm just getting started with this game. I actually practiced wholesale by debugging all the levels to make sure they actually worked and to make sure I wouldn't get lost. So, yeah, that's how I'm... That's how I became confident I could just do a daily thing for this. Oh, life is bad. Grunge is cool. Grunge is great, and it's for your friends. Welcome to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Question mark. Who is this JoJo character? I know nothing about the JoJo. Man, burning alive, what a way to go. I'm a poke you. Speaking of the pitchfork, I wonder if we invoke the painting with a pitchfork of the husband and wife. I forgot the name of that, but yeah. Hey, cash register opens thingies. Two thingies, actually. Have some armor. That's good. So you've seen me picking up a doctor's bag already. It's basically the med kit. That's probably why I failed to mention it. Or I did mention it, but it, it is just that. No further explanation necessary. Excellent. Oh, those bookshelves open up just to reveal that asshole? That's nice. Is there something on top? I always try to just jump on top of things in case there's something there. I might not exactly pick up on everything or every enemy, so just be mindful in case I miss an important weapon or something. Because that could happen. As long as I have the shotgun, though, I'm literally not worried about any of this shit. And Tommy gun. I feel safer with the Tommy gun. Of course... I'm going to need a lot more ammo to use the Tommy Gun, because the Tommy Gun likes to chew through ammo like I do through gum, which is too much gum. Body armor, not with the U, because this is America, and we spell it that way. Oh yeah, explosions can work through gates. So, just another use for this Swiss Army explosive knife. Don't use it for sniping, use it if they're far away, but don't try to, like, don't rely on it to be precise. Get into a big area, clear a crowd, control the crowd. 
It burns, motherfucker, burning. Burning, start. Let's burn away. Burning Tony. Let's burn him good. Burn for sonas. Let's fur away. <laughs> That's a terrible joke, and you should be not proud of that. Thank you. Here comes my ride. All right. I like a good train. By the way, the next level is a train. Sweet. Looks like my train is coming. Yes, my train. Hang on. Let's go into the no admittance part. For a little extra stuff. Mainly some shotgun ammo. Mainly to fuck with this guy. Tell him to stop it. Oh yeah, if you feel like you're too close to using your explosion, use the second I fire the dynamite so you can just place it and then let it explode when it's when it will. But yeah, more TNT is that's a good reason enough. TNT and shotgun shells, that's pretty much all you need at minimum. Oh no, Bell, if only you could see me now messing with this dynamite in a video game. There we go. We'll just wait it out. Extremely useful function. Would recommend 10 out of 10. And that's taking me a shortcut to back down here. So, there you go. And we go out from this shit and we see what else we got. See what all the things we shot. Look at all those things that died. Because it's fun to kill things in a video game that I killed with my pitchfork sometimes. But, no. Let's uh, switch to the shotgun. Shotgun is going to carry me home to Alabama. I don't know. Country roads. Virginia. Where I imagine Caleb's from Texas, if I had to guess. In all honesty, that would make the most sense. Considering, you know, I, there's a little bit of a Wild West thing going on. Just a little bit. But that just indicates is time period, not that this is a Wild West game. There is an appropriate Wild West first-person shooter out there. Although I don't know if I'll get around to it. It was made by LucasArts, so that's cool. Just checking out this thing. If you feel like wandering down the train tracks, there's a ghost train down there if you walk long enough. Uh, there's nothing there for you, though. Just a fun little Easter egg. There's a lot of good little Easter eggs. That's what I like about these building games, you know? They kind of have something to look for. My kills are eight times the are the number of the times of the secrets that there are. So, if secrets is n, kills is n times n. Sweet, n to the second power. That's the number of videos. For now, see you soon.